Billy Bunny and the Billy Goat. I'm sorry, but Billy Bunny threw away the pillbox after the donkey was cured, so I can't tell you the name of those little sugar-coated pills. But if you call up Dr. Quack, one, two, three, down goes she, I'm sure he will prescribe for you over the wire, and perhaps then you won't have to take any medicine at all. Well, it's time now to tell you about Billy Bunny and Uncle Lucky Left Hindfoot, his dear, kind, generous rabbit uncle. I'm never going to give anybody any medicine as long as I live, said the old gentleman rabbit, taking out his blue polka dot handkerchief and wiping his spectacles and then the back of his neck and the tip of his nose. You never even get thanked for it. And then Uncle Lucky put his handkerchief on his nose and his spectacles in his pocket. Oh, dear me. I mean, he did just what I didn't say he did. And after that, he climbed into the Lucky Mobile beside Billy Bunny and drove away. Hip hurrah, hip hooray, I'm going to join the colors today. Maybe I'll be a soldier gray or a sailor boy on the ocean spray. It all depends what they're going to say when I tell them I want to join the fray. Who's singing? asked Uncle Lucky, holding his right paw behind his left ear and wiggling his nose up and down and sideways so fast that it made a little fly dizzy to look at it. And just then they came across a billy goat standing outside a tent, dressed in khaki with a gun over his shoulder. Halt! Who goes there? cried the sentry. Halt! And of course Uncle Lucky put on his brakes and made the Lucky Mobile stop right then and there. Friend or foe? asked the sentry. Looking into the automobile and lifting the cushions off the seats, and opening up the cabaret and lighting the lamps and honking the horn, and oh dear me, doing anything and everything he could to annoy good, kind Uncle Lucky. What do you think you are? asked Billy Bunny. We are USA Bunnies. Don't you make any mistake about that. I beg your pardon, said the sentry, saluting the two rabbits most respectfully. I only wanted to make sure. These are war times, you know, and we must be on the lookout every minute of the day and every second of the night. And then he saluted again and turned away. And then, all of a sudden, the band began playing. But it must have been off in the woods somewhere, for the little bunnies couldn't see it. Hurrah for Uncle Samuel, King of the USA! Three cheers for the blue, and the red and white too, and the silver stars, I say. And here's to the sailor lad in blue and the soldier boy in brown, from the farm and the mine and the big steel mills or the little old hometown. <laughs>